Hi there, Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your June 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So just do you know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to each and every Aquarius people out there. This goes for those who are in the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. So um, if you don't feel connected to this, feel free to watch into your sun or moon sign all at the same time if you are not watching with your ascendant sign. So um, yeah, June is quite interesting for a lot of Aquarius out there. And I feel that for many Aquarius, you are going to be a lot more reflective through this month. and. I kind of feel that there is a story behind that all at the same time. We do have this Eight of Cups as the last card of the deck when I was shuffling. So, you know, this is about, you know, looking back or maybe, you know, having some form of dark moments or maybe you have experiences from the past that maybe is not making you happy, but you are somehow relieving that moment. Maybe you're someone is reminding you of something or maybe you're just um, thinking about the past more often than usual and this is not entirely about the specific person but it can be but it could be about you know what has what has been happening in your life in general that, that kind of situation we also have the death card here in the past position of the reading so for those Aquarius who are tuning into this reading it could be that maybe you are an Aquarius man or you have um, your moon in Aquarius or you have a strong affinity with Aquarius people and maybe you have you know some form of transformation that has occurred for you in the past or some form of um, moments wherein things are just at a pause. This could be, you know, maybe you had an ending of a friendship. We do have this dog card, which is all about loyalty and faithfulness, and along with the death in the past. So maybe you had a friend, you lost a friend, you lost some form of important relationship in your life in the past. It doesn't have to be recently, but it could be something that has given you some form of impact in your life right now. Or maybe the reason why you are suddenly looking back into the past, maybe thinking about this person here and there. Your first card of the deck, of course, we, we do have this Ten of Cups. So this is all about you maybe thinking thinking of your roots um thinking of your family or maybe you're you wanting to have a family thinking about some form of happiness because the ten, ten of cups is all about our happiness what gives us joy in a most um you know genuine kind of a way so it is being crossed over by the two of swords so maybe you are trying to make a decision on what happiness means for you or maybe you are at the verge of taking an action but you don't know what is the right thing to do especially if it has a lot to do with your past because a lot of you guys probably don't want to bring up the past anymore just like anyone you know um, no one I believe that no one out there wants to always keep repeating the past but um, for some reason maybe for for the people or the Aquarius people tuning into this reading there could be a relationship or a situation that you really really want um, right now but you don't know how to handle and how to do this a lot of you guys may be thinking about a relationship with your mother maybe or with a special woman in your life because we do have the Queen of Wands at the foundation of this reading along with the Eight of Hearts and this could be with a very special woman in your life someone who has given you a lot of confidence even this can also be a very crafty woman though because this is a fox very crafty witty and smart that type of woman so it could be a woman that is somehow of a headache at times to deal with but you had a strong bond with them regardless if you're a woman then 
This can also represent the other person, which is the man. So again, this is not really gender-based, so it can be vice versa. Either way, this is telling us that there, there is a special person in your life or maybe there is a situation that you want to happen. And it is based on your emotions, what really makes you happy, what makes you feel fulfilled in life. And there is a decision that you want to make, but this time you want to make it right. Because we do have the Jack of Clubs over here and the Order card. Wherein, you know, you wanted to improve a situation, but it, it is asking you to really think and make a decision out of it. And from the looks of things, it's, it's as if you're not making any decision at all. We do have here the man card and the clouds all together mirroring each other giving us an idea that there is a man who is confused. It could be you. You could be the Aquarius man or it could be your other person who is, you know, um, confused at this time on what to do. All those kinds of, of things, you know, you want to move forward but you don't know how. You're thinking of the a lot of opportunities that might present itself maybe some form of opportunity comes in within the month but you still don't know whether to grab hold of that or not you are you know we have here the world card and the five hearts you know you're really more in tune with your emotions at this time what really makes you feel happy and secured so i kind of feel here that with a judgment card showing up in the near future there could be some form of significant event that will be happening in your life that can you know give you a course of outcome on what to do with this situation are you going to you know make a decision to make things right or are you just going to make a decision to restart things and you know have a new beginning and really throw away the past behind so we are seeing here that we have the moon card and the four of cups both are surrounding the energies that you're dealing with right now so this is going to be making you intuitive emotional and you know for, for a lot of you guys even though that you are not emotional people you will be noticing that you are really focusing more on the heart on what true love is tr really all about basically and it is showing us here that you still have a strong pull with, with someone and maybe there could be a sense of depression that you might be feeling, feeling melancholic or any something like that. Because, you know, even though that there could be no action happening right now, there's just a lot of emotion and emotions happening behind the scenes. You know, you are definitely going to acknowledge whatever you're feeling right now. Some form of emotional answer is going to be given to you, whether you admit that or not, whether you are aware of it or not. So that's basically it. This can also be telling us that, you know, the other person might be feeling the same way, you know, and the two of you might have this telephatic connection going on maybe you're gonna dream of each other all those kinds of things so there's definitely a strong pull that is connecting the two of you especially you know whether you are in a relationship or not however we do have the king of cups over here as an outcome card of the reading so eventually this is really telling us that you know the king of cups is um someone who who controls their emotions they might be acting on on their emotions they might be acting not within their emotions but they are not exactly expressing what they are truly feeling not all the time and this could be you just waiting for things to pass waiting for opportunities to come by and this is something that you know you might need to think about Maybe you feel that this is not the right moment or maybe you're waiting for faith to do, to do things for you. This is something that you might need to think about. I kind of feel that, you know, if you do want to restart things like a relationship, reconnect with someone, heal a relationship or, you know, whatever it is, I kind of feel that 
eventually you will need to take action but the most important thing here is to really know if you are just feeling the effects of the retrograde or just feeling melancholic or do you really want to start a, a friendship a relationship with someone which you had a past with that is basically you know the overall reading that we are seeing here on another aspect this can be a situation wherein you know you are feeling emotional over certain things because of what has been happening in your life and you're trying to you know you're just trying to take it all in but do know that you know at one point in time you are going to be exploding so this this might develop uh, an a very unhealthy situation for you at the end of the day so this is about you um seeing glo seeing over and glossing glossing over on w what can happen in the future what has happened in the past and what you have right now in the present and how you can change it so i'm basically not telling you guys what is the outcome because right now we're not seeing any outcome at all we are just seeing here that you are looking back into the past there is a new beginning for you in the future but you're not doing anything so um basically the cards is within your hand so at one point this is actually a wonderful thing and another point this could be a situation wherein if you do nothing nothing is ever gonna change so it's going to be up to you on how to deal with it but i guess the most important thing right now is what you are processing at the moment what you are feeling internally and what you are realizing in the process all at the same time there is a chance here to 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 have an opportunity to reconnect with someone improve a situation or even change a relationship situation that is what this seven of clubs is all about you know making the effort to really really um improve a certain relationship or friendship i kind of feel that if this is a relationship this is not just you know any kind of relationship this is a relationship that you had foundation with that that you can say that it's a lover and a friend all at the same time the two of you have shared past to, together and have you know some solid foundation before so there is really something that you really really need to think about so to move forward to the past no that was wrong to move forward to the future to go back to the past or to change the future and you know restart and rebuild a relationship it's really going to be up to you at this point in time so for our astro dice we do have the third house activated the sign of leo which is you know um this could be something we can see at the fifth house because leo is all about the sun and happiness and joy communication revitalizing communication and we also have here saturn and saturn is all about being responsible with things sometimes it could be a hindrance or something when it comes to communication but because saturn right now is also in retrograde and it is in the sign of aquarius at this time which is triggering the 11th house of acquaintances groups social media all those kinds of stuff i kind of feel that you know maybe you're thinking about someone that you used to know already but maybe you're not connecting with them right now and you need to rethink on what to do with that connection whether you you reach out some form of communication that needs to be corrected and all of that might be in process at this time this could be also a situation wherein something has broken down just for you to learn and to know um to mature basically you know there are going to be conclusions that you are going to be having and maybe you have not seen that for the past few months but within the month of june you will realize something you will find out something and whatever that answer is for you is going to be the leading point on what you are going to be planning on the outcome of your future relationship with this person and with what's going to be happening for you 
it in your own love life situation as well. This is going to be helping you not just with your current situation, but with how you think and value relationship and friendship as an indiv individual as well. So there is some form of growth and maturity that comes along with this. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Aquarius. Um, especially for Aquarius men, this could be a very confusing time, but definitely is going to be worth it. Especially once you guys see what is truly a value, what is truly worth it, those kinds of things. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me for this reading for the month of June. And I'll see you guys again next month. Again, if you do want a more personal reading with me, you can do that by booking a session through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month.